Part two in my series on my DIY acoustic foam panels. This time, how to hang the panels. Now there's really three scenarios that I dealt with. One was hanging the panels on drywall. One was hanging them on a hard surface like a door. And the third, in the cloud, attaching them to the ceiling, 11 foot ceiling in here, so it was a bit of a challenge. These only weigh four pounds each, and if you take the advice I gave in part one and actually use half inch board instead of one inch board, your panels could be even lighter. And so you really don't have to go to any great lengths to support a heavy weight. So to hang them on drywall on the walls, all I did was take a knife, you could certainly use the same box cutter you used to cut them out in the first place, and cut little pockets in the back of the panels, making sure of course that they're uh, spaced evenly in from the edges and from the top so that they're level. And then all I did was take a, little, a couple of clear push pins, put them in the wall and just hang the panels on the push pins. That way you can easily pick them up off the wall and move them around to create a more sound conditioned area within your studio in order to film a particular video. Now on a hard surface like a door, I use adhesive Velcro strips. You can see I put uh, two at the top and one at the bottom to keep it from swinging around when the door was opened. Just like cutting the pockets, just make sure you position them and evenly at the top and just adhere them to the door. It's a really simple process. Uh, and again, you know, the Velcro is designed to support much more weight than these panels provide, so mine have now been hanging for weeks with no sign of any problems. Now the most difficult challenge was hanging them in the cloud, on the ceiling, especially because this room has, I believe, a 11 foot ceilings. So it was a real challenge to get them up there. So the first thing I did was I cut little pockets in the foam. I didn't cut them completely off so that they were hinged uh, and I could cover up the hardware. Then took a power drill and I drilled a hole through the board to accept a screw for a molly fastener. Those are the kind of fasteners that you insert them through a hole in the drywall the, and they have a little wing that expands and then when you tighten the screw that little wing will come down and hold them against the drywall. And these things are designed to hold, you know, 94 pounds, I think was their tested strength. So four pounds was not going to challenge them. Um, then what I did was I took an extension pole I had in the garage and I held the panel up against the ceiling. And then I just took a screwdriver and put it through the hole and hole for the screw and punched a hole in the ceiling where that was. Took the panel down, used a spade bit and a drill and drilled a 5 8 inch hole as the instructions called for. And then I simply inserted the molly fastener through the panel, put the wing on, folded the wing up and stick it, stuck it through the holes and tightened down the screws and it tightened down really well. And then I just uh, closed the little foam uh, little foam covers on top of the screws and you can't even see the fasteners. So it really came out well, but I've got to be honest, putting them in the cloud was not easy up there at 11 feet. It was hot up there. Getting them oriented straight was a bit of a challenge. So take your time. Uh, I recommend putting your cell phone on the floor in the center of the room and taking a picture on a timer and seeing if they look straight from there because mine looked straight when I was hanging them but when I did that to take a picture of my work they looked like they were a little they weren't too straight so don't do what I did <laughs> but that's how to hang these stay tuned for part three when I do a sound test until next time this is Bob Johnson with PK&W Model Works signing off keep on modeling